Uh, this is uh, doing unit one and, and just trying to see the big picture through all of the numbers. I'm then going to do unit two uh, for the next series, which is number 12. And then we'll start looking at, at, at the third unit now. But it is very, very important to get all of these concepts in there all the time. So they just become very, very easy. Now, the first thing about this is uh, we've got some information on here, which is selling price, variable costs, quantity, fixed costs or lower fixed costs at home if you work from home and your fixed costs were actually going to fall now quickly when you see that you can quickly work out uh, break even point profits you can manipulate the data you can say well if we can increase the price if we increase the price then then uh, by adding more value then the break even point is going to fall or if we can reduce the variable cost or is it a good idea to reduce the variable cost they may ask you in the exam to reduce the variable cost by by 20 percent and then see what happens to your break even point or your profit so from here we can do a lot just with that data that's what i'm trying to get across uh, we've also got cash flow so we've done profit Cash flow is, they may just give you the numbers on, on the page. So here they got 50, uh, brackets 15,000, 12,000, and then we move to a 3,000 pound surplus here. The mechanics of a cash flow is basically just cash in, cash out, net cash flow, opening balance, closing balance. Cash in is how much money has come in that month. Cash out is how much money has gone out that month. The net cash flow is just a summary of this part of the cash flow your opening balance is your opening balance how much money you have in at the start of the month your closing balance is how much you have at the end of the month so in this month twenty thousand pounds has come in thirty thousand pounds thirty five thousand pounds gone out so therefore your net cash flow is uh fifteen thousand minus fifteen thousand in brackets we've got no opening balance at all so the closing balance at the end of the month is minus fifteen thousand well, that will then become our opening balance for the next month. So the next month, just say 40,000 pounds comes in, comes into the business in, in total, say 20,000 pounds goes out. So therefore your net cash flow is obviously going to be 20,000 pounds plus. We've got minus 15,000 pounds in there at the moment. So we end the month at 5,000 quid. So also on unit one, it's important to be able to work out the mechanics of the cash flow, as well as working out what you do. If you do have a cash flow problem, well, then you might have an overdraft or you're going to get a loan or as regards unit two and three, you are going to sell shares. A budget, a, a, a budget is a forward financial forecast. There are going to be three budgets. You have an income budget, an expenditure budget, and then we can have a profit budget. So this is a question we've previously been through. They gave us this information on the budgets have just appeared on the exam paper. It also appeared on the exam paper that the person in charge, it was someone called Max, said that the income would increase by 33% every single year. Now, if that's a pretty big assumption to make. However, if you work out all the numbers on there, those were the profits that were forecast. So you could work those out. Once again, you were manipulating data and you could use that data to say, well, OK, it looks as if this is a pretty sound business because we'd eventually be making £50,000 a year in three years. So that is budgets, which is a financial forecast. And finally, we got break even. And if you can remember all of this, we can use these figures to create a break even chart, which I'm just going to do very, very quickly now. So we got the break even analysis on here. We sell 9,000 goods, 9,000 times £9.20 is, uh, is uh, 82,800, I think. So if we went to 9,000 down here and we went to 90,000 here, okay, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay, and 82,800 is about there. And that is going to give us our sales revenue line or our total revenue line. Okay, because if we sell no products and we're going to get no money in. If we then put the uh, break even points, sorry, the fixed cost line on there 10, 20, 30, 40, 48,000 quid. Those are your fixed costs. And then to work out the total cost, remember this, we start always start the line there. 
9,000 times three pounds 79 is I think about 38,100 pounds roughly so 38,100 pounds plus the uh, 48,000 probably comes about 81,110 quid something like that anyway 81,110 quid so I put that on there and I draw a line up from there to there sorry got it totally wrong my wife just called in draw a line up from there to there and there we have our break-even point and a profit of 690 pounds okay thank you bye okay.